Hello students, welcome to this video. In today's lesson, I will be talking to you about the subject and verb pattern in a sentence. As you may already know, a sentence consists of two parts, a subject and a predicate. And the verb here, the verbs here, are simple predicates. This is a verb phrase, might come being shoveled. This is a linking verb. Okay, so I am going to show you how a subject and a verb can make sense in a sentence by themselves. They don't need any more compliments because, let alone, they create a perfectly coherent sentence. Okay, we have four examples here on the board. The first one says, the students studied. The students is the subject of the sentence. Subject. And studied, well, we know that's a verb, or predicate. Verb. A, a verb or a simple predicate. The second one says, Janine might come. Janine is our subject here. And might come would be our verb phrase or our verb. Verb phrase. So as you can see here, these sentences make perfect sense. The students studied, period. You don't need any more compliments. You just, the subject and the verb. The snow is being shoveled. This is a verb phrase with a linking verb. And we know the snow is a subject. So we have a verb here, a linking verb. And here, we have a verb phrase, being shoveled. The snow is being shoveled, all right? And the last one says, we are learning. We have two verbs in this sentence. We, subject, subject are linking verb and learning is another verb in gerund form so this is how the subject and verb pattern in a sentence works Next, I will move on to some practice sentences so that you can interact with me and be a master in this topic. All right, it's time to practice. As you can see, I have four more sentences here on the board and you are going to help me figure out which of these have the subject and verb structure. All right, the first one says, we might have gone. We might have gone. Is that a subject and verb sentence? Yes, it is. Why? Because we have the subject, we. And the verb phrase, might have gone. Verb phrase. All right, this can also be called a main clause, a principal clause, or as many people call it, an independent clause. We might have gone, because let alone it makes sense, and it can be a sentence, or it is a sentence. Right, the next one says, they learned, they learned. We have a subject, and we have the verb verb. So this makes perfect sense. 
You don't need to complement it. It could also be called an independent class, right? They learned, period. You don't need any more complements. You just need the subject and verb. So this is correct. The next one says, we ran quickly to the store. We, we have the subject. We have the verb, ran. But here we have a complement to the sentence. So this is not a subject verb sentence. And this last one says, correcting this is easy. Correcting this is easy. What do you think? No. It's not a subject and verb sentence either. Subject and verb sentences are very simple. We might have gone. They learned. You ran. And they make perfect sense by themselves as a sentence. All right? So next I'm going to leave you some homework. Remember to do it because in order to improve your English, you need to practice as much as you can. For homework, you are going to write four sentences, four subject verb sentences. Very simple. I ran. She came. They make perfect sense by themselves. So if you have a workbook, go ahead and do your homework in your workbook. And if you don't, please leave your homework in the comment section below this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Would you like to watch my next video? Click on the television to the right. We use this very, this structure very often. All right, we have four examples here on the board and I will be explaining.